みなさんこんにちはりなです今日は名古屋駅に来てますこれが名古屋駅の反対側です今日はいつも通り外国人にインタビューをしたいと思いますそれではやりましょう Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Lena. Nice uh, to meet you, Lena. What's your name?、Uh, my name is Chris. Hi, Chris. And where are you from?、Uh, I'm from the UK originally, but、uh, I now live in Nagoya. Oh, you live here? I do indeed, yes. Okay. How long have you been living here?、Uh, just over a year now. So、okay. I, I arrived last year in February and、uh, I、mm-hmm. now live and work here. Okay. And why did you come here?、Uh, so my job is、mm-hmm. in Japan.、Mm-hmm. Um, I work near Toyota. So I live in Nagoya and then commute to,、mm-hmm. to okay. Toyota. Okay. And you came here for work, you got married, or?、Uh, it's a bit of both, really.、Um, okay. I got married and I changed my jobs all at the same time. So、oh, wow. my wife is Japanese.、Uh-huh. Um, she, we got married in 2022. Okay. I then found out she was pregnant. So oh, I, congratulations.、Um, thank you very much. <laughs>、uh, and then it sort of all came together. I had to move jobs and,、uh, and start, basically start again from scratch.、Oh, that sounds stressful. <laughs> very stressful, yeah, very stressful. But、um, everything came together, so it was、okay. all fine in the end.、Okay. Very stressful、okay. at the time. So she's from here, and、uh, you came here to get married, and then she got pregnant, and now you moved here to Aichi、yep. to be closer to her family as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so、um, okay. it was easier because of my work, it was easier to、uh, move to Japan. And work, work in Japan, and so、mm-hmm. my wife has、um, all the support she has from her family. Yeah, I think、uh, that's helpful. Are you getting along with your parents in law?、Uh, yes, mostly. It's, I think there's a cultural barrier, definitely.、Uh-huh. Uh, my f- wife's parents don't speak any English at all. Okay, you、uh, speak Japanese?、Uh, enough to get by.、Uh, my work involves、um, working with Japanese companies, and my wife is. Uh, has very good English, but sometimes speaking a little bit of Japanese、okay. helps the conversation. So at home, you speak English with、yes. your wife and your children, I、yes. assume. And then when you are with your in laws, you are doing your best to speak Japanese.、Yeah. I'm doing my best to speak Japanese, <laughs> but my Japanese is limited. I mean, Did, were you already interested in Japan before meeting your wife?、Or? Yes,、yeah, so、in, in 2019, for my previous work, I used to come to Japan for a three month stint. Okay.、Um, so so even before then, I was.、Uh, Everybody has their fancy of visiting Japan and,、mm-hmm. and seeing all of the sights and everything.、Yeah. So, to get that opportunity to come here for three months was、uh-huh. excellent. And then after that, it was, it was an even bigger push. You had some time to travel around yes. as well? Yes. So, I visited Hokkaido, I went to、uh, Kyoto,、oh, I went to Hiroshima,、uh, many, many, many places. Okay, now you've moved to Japan one year ago, you had two kids. You got married,、uh, so you basically settled down here. Are you going to stay here or move back? I mean, once the kids get out of nursery, maybe into preschool, we'll start thinking about、okay. uh, moving back to the UK.、Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of other things that need to come together、mm-hmm. for, for that to happen. So for now, the, the aim is to stay in Japan and make it work for、mm-hmm. as long as possible. But in the future, there is certainly, my wife likes to, would, is quite interested in the UK, so she'd quite、mm-hmm. like to live there for a while. Okay.、Um, so there is a, Has she ever lived there before? She spent a bit of time there. She spent a, a bit of time when she was at school. The, Japan seems to have quite a lot of exchange programs with different countries.、Uh-huh, yeah. So she spent quite a bit of time, a couple of months. What's your experience been、uh, raising children here in Japan?、Uh, personally, I've just been back to the UK recently.、Uh-huh. In terms of small babies,、yeah. I'd say Japan's far better. Really? Yes. No,、okay. I think, in what well, sense? There's just more access to nurseries,、mm-hmm. sorry, nursery facilities, so baby changers.、Uh, ah. Disabled toilets are always clean and there is always, there's always somewhere to deal with your children.、Mm-hmm. And Japanese people quite like children, as it,、uh-huh. as it turns out. So there's always somebody to help and、oh, really? or guide you. Or you、uh-huh. know, when you go into a restaurant, there's always baby chairs,、uh-huh. uh, high chairs, and so on. So on.、Yeah. So, whereas in the UK, things went maybe as clean as you'd like it to be, and people always are. Maybe a bit less、uh, friendly towards children because they see them more as a nuisance. And just the whole experience in the UK was not, maybe not the best. Okay. But certainly for, for small children as opposed to babies, it's probably better. I'm、oh, sorry, there's maybe not better, but the experience is better than it is with a small child. Ah, okay. So for you, it was quite tough.、Uh, very tough.、Okay. I mean, the flight in itself was probably the toughest we've, we've had for quite some time. But、mm-hmm. certainly in the UK, it, it, it was difficult. It was、okay. difficult, certainly.、Okay. But here in Japan, We've never really had that much of a problem. Okay. Is your wife currently working? No, she has.、Um, thankfully, the Japanese system is kind towards、um, women who have had children. So she's,、mm-hmm. she's getting to the end of her one year of mandatory,、yeah. or not mandatory, but one year、um, voluntary 
Uh, maternity time leave. Of, maternity, that's the yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. That seems like the government here in Japan is really doing a lot to support young families. Definitely, I, I can't say enough for the support that we're able to, to get from the Japanese government. Um, certainly in the UK, she wouldn't get as much time off. Mm -hmm. I think most companies tend to give a six week period. Six I, weeks? Six weeks. What? That's Wait, six tough. weeks and then you supplement it with your own annual leave. So maybe okay. for her, she might get a bit more. Uh -huh. um, if she worked for, for, I know with my previous role, I worked for the UK government. Mm -hmm. So I know for them, they have a much more relaxed system. So they get maybe, I think it's six months. Okay. But I know for some private companies that can only, that can only okay. be six weeks and then you supplement it yourself with more so annual the, leave. So the British government does it, don't have any kind of support like maternity leave? I think if you are Programs. struggling, they have, mm -hmm. you, you, there are financial support, but yeah. certainly um, if you work for private companies, you're a little bit on your own depending on what the company is. Certainly there are companies out there that will help you, mm -hmm. um, but I think if you're, if you're unfortunate in situations, then you might only get the bare minimum. Okay. Do you know about paternity leave? In the UK? Yeah. I know about the UK system because yeah. I was looking at it before I left. Okay, okay. Um, you that? get shared paternity leave, so you, you uh, certainly within the, the, the civil service, mm -hmm. which is where I worked, the, what I think my wife got, would have got if she worked there I think six, six months to a year. Mm -hmm. I think you get a year allocation, but it, the financial um, help reduces over time. Mm -hmm. so, but if in the shared parental leave system, you, I would then take some of the the six to 12 months, mm -hmm. uh, and we'd split it between the two. So mm -hmm. instead of getting six months, you'd get maybe three months and three months. I see. I did the research recently for Japan, and I was really surprised that according to the Japanese system, both parents can take time off at the same time, up to one year, which is a lot. <laughs> that and, is a lot. Yeah. And um, the mother gets 66% uh, of her salary for the whole year, yeah. and the father would get 66% um, for the first half year yeah. and then um, it reduces to I think 50% for the second half year which seems like a lot again. It's all right the government having these systems in place it's whether or not the Japanese people want to use them they're use not. Them. I looked for at the numbers there and for paternity leave it was like um, I think it was 11% of fathers take paternity leave, but then you have to look at how long they take it. And it's um, most of those 11%, it was like 80% of 11% yeah. that take uh, paternity leave take less than two weeks. <laughs> so that's basically, no moment. one takes anything. <laughs> the biggest problem is if the husband's willing to help. Yeah, I've had yeah, stories yeah. about husbands who, um, they'll take the paternity leave, um, but then they'll use it for self-study. So that I'll help for that because they think, oh, well, I'll, I'll, do it. I'll spend the six weeks or whatever it is doing self-study and that'll get me a better promotion and more money. And I'm sitting there going, yeah, but That's having really my own point. experience, <laughs> the wife needs all the help she can get. Yeah. I mean, if you can afford to give the help, then yeah. I think she needs, to, she needs yeah. the help. But you do have a full-time job now, right? I do. I, well, okay. I've been working full-time mm -hmm. ever since the kids were born. Okay. Uh, my work is a bit flexible, so we can okay. have, so I can work from home. Really? Uh, yes. Okay. So I can work from home when I'm not needed at my manufacturers mm -hmm. or my customers. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously when I go to my customers, I can be away for 12 hours in a day, so it's oh, quite okay. tiring. Okay, wow, well, okay. Do you work for a Japanese company? I know, so I work for um, a Belgian company. Okay, so yeah. you have the European rules and yeah, sick so leave and, and off days and those kind of benefits? Yeah, so I have... I have. Nice. <laughs> I have the. I'm under the same. Uh, my contractual agreement is that I. Well, contract is that I work predominantly for a, a European company, so I don't have the limitations that some Japanese people might have That's when they work really for a nice. Japanese company. Uh -huh. So it's quite nice. I get yeah. the benefits of being a uh -huh. European employee, but I live in Japan. Cool. And what do you do? Uh, so I am a. I'm called a type approval engineer. Mm -hmm. So basically, my responsibility is that I. The European Commission has a set of rules mm -hmm. and regulations that new vehicles mm -hmm. have to comply with. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, yeah, so when you get your car, when you get your brand new car, um, I take a standard Toyota Corolla, for example, mm -hmm. there is a, an assurance from the manufacturer that they meet safety requirements. So mm -hmm. if you were to get into an accident, yep. there are regulations that dictate how well the vehicle is going to perform in the event of an accident. So yeah, okay. the airbags mm -hmm. go off, mm -hmm. and they have crash crumple zones, yeah. um, and all those sorts of systems are in place to ensure that the, the passenger's safe. Yeah. Um, so these, 
requirements, um, there's uh, 170. Um, so it's my responsibility to know as best mm -hmm. I can. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to manufacturers, manufacturers then test these vehicles to these standards, mm -hmm. and I'm there as an independent witness to ensure that they're not, uh, that they're, they're doing the, the testing as per the regulation. Um, so I would go to Toyota and witness these testing. Okay, yeah. so you in, see in cars yeah. before they go on sale? Yes, exactly. That's yeah. very cool. <laughs> it's, it's very cool, but you can't tell anybody about it because <laughs> there's, a, there's a confidential agreement that uh -huh. um, we have with manufacturers that, okay. that we're not allowed to say to basically see what, what's coming up. Uh -huh. But you, you do see um, new cars come out and you go, I tested that six months ago. <laughs> oh, that's I was there cool. to see the testing. So that's I know in Japan, the new Land Cruiser has just come out. Uh -huh. um, we've been working on that for, oh, it seems like years now. Okay, nice. What kind of Toyota cars do you like? Uh, oh, my my all time favorite car is the Toyota. So my all time okay. favorite car is uh, uh, the Toyota 2000 GT, which is a sports coupe made in the 1960s. Made okay. famous by, um, it appeared in James Bond. Ah, I can't remember okay. which one, okay, but okay. Um, they, made, they Toyota presented this vehicle for James uh -huh. Bond. Uh -huh. And uh, Sean, I think it's Sean Connery's the James Bond at the time. I think. 60s, yeah, maybe, yeah. not sure. Um, <laughs> but he's six foot two, six foot yeah. three or something like that. So he was too tall for the car. So they cut the roof off. They went back to Toyota and said, we can't use this car, go away. So they um, cut the roof off. Made it a cabriolet. convertible. Okay. Exactly, yeah, okay. they made it convertible. But no, my favorite car is that car. I think it's a okay. stunning looking car. Okay. Um, and I just wish I could buy one, but you can. How expensive are they? <laughs> oh, you're tens of millions of yen, I think. Okay, okay. Yeah, no. Too expensive. <laughs> Too expensive. No, no, I need a mortgage to buy one. <laughs> okay. What but about no. British car brands? I mean, they are all kind of super expensive, luxury. Like, that's kind of the image that I have of British cars. No, certainly, certainly recently, you take Rolls Royce, you take Jaguar Land Rover, you yeah. take Aston Martin. Yeah. You know, these are Halo brands, yeah, yeah. You know, Halo cars. Uh, they're very expensive vehicles. I know recently, I think Jaguar was pushing towards more of the high-end market. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think, I think that's the opinion, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I just think people need to remember that they're not entirely English anymore, or British <laughs> anymore. I wish there was cheaper options for British cars. I know back in the <laughs> 70s and 80s, there used to be cheaper options. Okay. Um, but, but nowadays, British brands have, have just become mm -hmm. uh, but like, okay. even if you had the money, right? You said earlier you would have bought the Toyota car. Yeah. So you are on the side of Japanese cars, preferring Japanese cars over British cars, or if you had the money, you would buy a British car? I think if I had the money, I'd buy, it wouldn't really matter which one I would buy. <laughs> I'd love to buy everything. I, I, you know, okay. I'd love to drive an Aston Martin, or I'd love to drive a, a, a 2000 GT, but I, I would agree. If I, if I could, I would probably stick towards more to the, the Japanese, certainly look Lexus's, uh, uh -huh. the LC500 with its V8. I'd love to, I'd love to give that a go. Uh -huh. uh, the Toyota GR86, uh -huh. what a car that is. I mean, for, it's cheap, it's, uh -huh. you, you believe it's reliable because it's a Toyota product. Yeah. Um, and I think they, they hold the essence of sports cars that maybe, certainly in the UK, certainly in the 60s, 70s and 80s, we had, we in, I don't know whether we invented sports cars, but we certainly, there's a big presence of British sports cars back in the 70s and 80s. Uh -huh. and we've, We've unfortunately lost that, mm -hmm. but certainly I think Japan holds on to what is the essence of driving. Okay, cool. Let's talk a little bit about uh, British people and driving. Uh, for example, here in Japan, there are sometimes news about Aori, Aori Unten, which is like dangerous driving. Yep. Uh, is that something that happens in Britain as well? <laughs> certainly, I think it happens anywhere and everywhere. Um, <laughs> If you were to compare British and, and Japanese drivers, I think Japanese drivers are a bit more considerate and a bit more risk averse, but that leads into this into problems where they haven't got much spatial awareness. Whereas mm -hmm. in the UK, it's kind of the opposite. They're uh, so brash and so <laughs> confident in their driving ability that it causes them problems. Yeah. Um, I would, I think in terms of the quality of driving, certainly in Japan, it's, it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. In Japan, lots of cars nowadays have drive recorders. Is yes. that a thing in Britain as well? So, uh, I think sorry. it's becoming more and more of a thing in the UK. Certainly in Japan, it seems like every car is fitted with Yeah, one. right. Um, but certainly in the UK, I think it's coming more and more. I think just it's a good idea. It's just a good <laughs> yeah, idea to have them, because when it does come to having an accident, it's you don't need to question 
people for hours and then you just look at the video footage. Yeah. Would you say there are many people in Britain who buy like the newest model very regularly or do people keep their cars for long time? No. I think with the, the advent of um, financing vehicles, yeah. you get stuck into that loop of every three years you get a new car. Mm -hmm. You just keep paying the monthly, yeah, yeah, monthly yeah, okay, uh, yeah. fee. Leasing. Uh, yeah, exactly. Lease contracts. Did you buy a new car? I, I would never a buy a new car. car. I'd never buy a new car. Okay. Um, I would always buy a used car. Yeah. Just because I think the financial constraint, or the financial challenge of buying a new car, just from the, the initial cost yeah. to the depreciation. I mean, yeah. I view a new car as as soon as you buy it and drive off, drive away from this the salesman, a third of the cost is gone. Yeah. And I, I can't afford the opinion. finances. <laughs> I can't afford that. Our British people generally following the traffic rules, whether they're pedestrians or drivers, would you say? Yeah, uh, I'd definitely say British people, they uh, like a rule. Rule abiding They do like people. a rule. <laughs> whereas well, Japan it is, there's a rule, you follow that rule. Mm -hmm. um, has that been your experience here in Japan? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> and you know, people, you know, nobody runs red lights. Yeah. You know, nobody, um, nobody is aggressive. Yeah, as I say, everyone follows the rules and I have no doubt my kids are going to be safe. <laughs> so, thank you very much for this interview, this very extensive interview. Oh, sorry, no, it's been my pleasure. Uh, it was really interesting. No, thank you so pleasure. much. Awesome. No, thank you. Thanks. ということで、今日は観光客ではなくて、ここに住んでいる外国人とインタビューができました。この方があの国際カップルの男性で。あとはあの双子がいるここの愛知県に住んでてあの車関係の仕事をしてる人だったからなんかすごい面白い話ができましたね皆さんはこの話の中で一番驚いた話は何だったでしょうかぜひコメントで教えてくださいそれではこの動画はここで終わりにします楽しかったならぜひいいねボタン押してくださいチャンネル登録もよろしくお願いしますそれではまた次の動画でも会いましょうバイバーイ